everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Crochet by Katie Humes. We are still working on the Baby Yoda pattern. Today we're going to make his ears. We've done his head and his eyes. And today we're going to work on his ears. You're going to need scissors, a crochet hook, I am using size 3.5 millimeter. See if that will ever focus. There you go, focused. And a yarn needle. The color of yarn I am using is called Frosty green. I got it at Walmart. All right, let's begin. For round one, you're going to make the red, the magic ring of three. Pull it tight, but not too tight that you can't work into those stitches. Now we're going to do three, oh, we're going to do an increase. Three increases to make six. So one, two, and three, we're gonna do, our first one is going to be an increase. And so count back, one, two, three, Insert your hook, and I'm going to, this is not anything, I'm just going to crochet around it so that it, the tail, so that it is secure. There's our first one, we need to put another stitch down in that same spot. Next one is another increase. One, and two. It's very tricky to work in these magic rings sometimes, but you can do it. Our last increase is right here. One and two. At the end of round two, you will have six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. this one looks a little funny, but that's number six right there. It's kind of long. Now I'm going to cut this tail. We don't need it. We crochet in around it so that it's tight. We're going to snip it off now. All right, something I like to do, pull out my hook, so pull that long, and use the back of my hook to pop out our work. Okay. Now put it back in. We are on round three. Round three is six single crochets. So one single crochet in every stitch along. One. Two. 
two. And that completes round three. Okay. Should be kind of like a little pointy edge. Round four is going to be one increase and then five single crochets. So one increase. One and two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now we're going to do five single crochets. And at the end of the round, we will have seven stitches around. I'm coming to my last stitch, which is our fifth single crochet in a row, making it seven single crochets in this round. So you should have seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and that completes round four round five is one increase and then six single crochets so basically the same thing we just did but you're going to be having six single crochets instead of five single crochets so in this next stitch we'll do an increase an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch so our first single crochet Second single crochet into the same stitch. Now we do six single crochets into the next six stitches. One, two, cool. I'm coming to my last stitch, which is stitch number six. Well, it's the sixth single crochet in a row, stitch number eight. For round five, and that completes round five. At the end of round five, you want to have eight stitches around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, for round six, you're going to do an increase in every stitch around, and that's what's going to create this very cute little curve. Bloop. Okay. So an increase, remember, is two single crochets into one stitch. One single crochet and two single crochets. Do an increase in every single stitch around, and that is eight increases, and at the end of the round, you will have 16 stitches. So I'm on my second one, and here's how I count. I go two, two, because I need two stitches in there. And then on the third stitch, I'll say in my head, or out loud, depending on who I'm with, three, Two, because I'm doing two stitches into that third stitch. And then I continue to do that. So this one's my number four. Four. Two. Five. Two. Six, 
two. This is how I do it when I don't have a stitch marker. Seven. Two. And eight, two. So there's eight. And two. And then we have 16 stitches around. Okay. And we can shape that ear a little to make it a little more pointy. Now for the next three rounds, which are round six, I mean, sorry, we just finished round six, which is round seven, eight, and nine, you will do 16 single crochets around. So it's one single crochet in every stitch around. So this is the beginning of round seven, and I'm going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way around until I get to 16. I'm coming to stitch number 16, which is my last stitch on round number seven. Going into round number eight, it is the same thing, 16 single crochets around. So one single crochet, and it's just one single crochet in every stitch around. Two single crochet, three single crochet. I'll meet you at 16 at the end of round eight. I'm on my last stitch, which is stitch number 16 in round number eight. And we have one more round just like this, round number nine, 16 single crochets around. So here's my first one, second one. Continue this all the way around until you get to 16. Three. I'm coming to my last stitch, which is stitch number 16 on round number nine. Hope you guys made it there. You can start to flatten that out a little and see how it's going to look. Now for round 10, this is the final round to make the ear. We're going to do eight single crochets together. So it's eight decreases and I'll do it with you, don't worry. The way I like to do my decreases are in the front loop only. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop and insert your hook into that second stitch along. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And you just decreased those first two stitches into one stitch. We're going to do this all the way along. So here's our second one. Third one, we're gonna do eight of these. Fourth one, fifth one, six. Seven, and our final one, number eight, eight decrease. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch along, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now you have eight stitches. Now. Flatten it out. Looks like it wants to fold that way the most. Now we're going to do two slip stitches. I just like to do two for insurance. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna do three. Do a slip stitch until you get to what you feel is the edge of your ear. I feel like three gets me to the edge. Okay. Then you're gonna trim it. Pull it, 
And now put your yarn needle on to that tail. Now we're going to whip stitch it closed so that it is flat. Leave your tail because that is how we're going to sew it onto the head. We won't be doing that today. We'll uh, attach our pieces on another video just like we did with the Dobby video. And that is how you make the ears. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And I hope you're enjoying Baby Yoda. Bye. I guess I should say.